In the mid-aughts and at the height of their fame, Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie went from BFFs to giving each other the cold shoulder. There were public disses, a wedding snub, and finally a reconciliation. Let's look back at how things got so complicated for the stars of The Simple Life. Today, the world is more forgiving about certain kinds of leaked tapes and scandalous photo hacks. We even saw renowned gossip blogger Perez Hilton apologize about posting illicit photos of Jennifer Lawrence in 2014 amidst an onslaught of furious criticism, according to News Corp Australia. But 2004 was a wildly different online climate, one where shamed celebs were thrown into the trenches by notoriously catty bloggers and teased into submission. And Paris Hilton was one of those celebs. Paris's life was shattered in 2004 when her then-boyfriend Rick Solomon leaked a tape of one of the pair's intimate romps. In a Netflix doc, The American Meme, the hotel heiress spoke about how the leak made her literally want to die at some points. I felt like I've lost part of my soul. The socialite confessed her feelings at the time, saying, I literally wanted to die at some point, so I was like, I just don't want to live, because I thought everything was taken away from me. Needless to say, it'd be pretty nasty if then-BFF Nicole Richie screened Paris's illicit video at a party meant to celebrate Hilton's 2005 Saturday Night Live hosting gig, right? Yet that's exactly what the tabloids claim triggered the dynamic duo's falling out, though according to People, representatives from Nicole's camp deny it. Hi, I'm Paris Hilton. And I'm Nicole Richie. And we're here, here to, to talk, talk to you about mad cow disease. A month after Paris's SNL gig, news of her falling out with Nicole was just a rumor. Regardless, the pair were spotted ignoring each other all over Tinseltown, which certainly didn't help dispel any tall tabloid tales. According to People, the rift was pretty obvious at the 2005 Vanity Fair Oscar party. Paris, who was wearing a glitzy Chloe dress, reportedly hung out with her sister Nikki. Nicole, who was engaged to DJ AM at the time, allegedly stuck with her fiancé. A few days later, things didn't appear to be any friendlier between the former besties. According to People, they were both spotted at the luxury Beverly Hills Chinese restaurant Mr. Chow. Paris arrived there first, and Nicole later took a seat at the other side of the restaurant out of Paris's view. What do these friends have in common besides fame? They're giving up their plush lifestyle to live on a farm. In April 2005, Paris officially dumped Nicole, at least as much as she could while still having a contract with The Simple Life. According to USA Today, the hotel heiress was spotted at Us Weekly's Young Hot Hollywood Style Awards, where she announced that Nicole would no longer be a part of their famed reality series. Instead, Rod Stewart's daughter, Kimberly Stewart, would be filling in as her BFF for season four. Paris said at the time, it's my show. I've had it three seasons, and I just want to freshen it up. Make it newer and funner. Seem a little too drama-free for a mid 2000s celebrity spat? Don't worry. Nicole also showed up at the event. She reportedly told Us Weekly that she wouldn't be doing any press and darted out almost as soon as she arrived. Maybe I should say to her, like, we're not going to be together anymore. <laughs> but, like, let's just do it one more time. Shortly after the Us Weekly party, Paris finally came clean about the rumors surrounding her split with Nicole. The star infamously released one of the coldest celebrity statements to ever grace gossip magazines, saying via People, "...it's no big secret that Nicole and I are no longer friends. Nicole knows what she did, and that's all I'm ever going to say about it." I don't really trust people. The statement seemed like it almost confirmed the tabloid's illicit tape snafu story, but not everyone was convinced. Regardless, Paris and Nicole tried their best to move on. According to People, Richie was busy pitching a newlywed-style series to MTV while Hilton was promoting her role in the movie House of Wax. Though Hilton claimed she was recasting Richie in The Simple Life with her hysterical and crazy fun friend Kimberly Stewart, Fox hadn't yet made a decision. How do I cut off her air supply? Though Paris blamed Nicole for the disillusion of their epic partnership and continued to fuel nasty rumors that Nicole possessed a nearly unimaginable level of pettiness, Richie had a totally different understanding of their issues. According to People, Nicole appeared on Today to promote her book The Truth About Diamonds in November 2005, about six months after Paris publicly dumped her. Nicole reportedly claimed the pair wouldn't even speak if they ran into each other at the mall. Regardless, there apparently wasn't a whole lot of drama there. Nicole told Today, "...we just grew apart. It turned into a much bigger thing than it is." It's it's just not part of my life." A separate People report confirmed Nicole's story. Apparently, her friends claimed the star had done a lifestyle 180 and quit drinking. Meanwhile, Paris was months away from getting her infamous 2006 DUI. In the summer of 2005, The Simple Life got really complicated. At the time, the pair was thought to be contractually obligated to season four, and Fox was trying everything to make it work. According to E! News, the network tried to shift around the format of the show so Paris and Nicole could film separately. Another idea involved explaining their ongoing feud and helping 
them patch things up. According to the New York Post, producers even considered formatting the season like Wife Swap, where Nicole and Paris would stay in separate households with different cultural backgrounds and play the role of wife. Instead of dealing with the headache, Fox ended up giving The Simple Life the axe after the girls separately filmed their parts for season four, according to Today. But that didn't mean that they were totally off the hook. The Age reports the series was picked up by E!, who sent Paris and Nicole to camp. In October 2006, things took a turn for the better. Paris and Nicole were even spotted in public looking like actual friends again. According to People, the former BFFs were dining at Dan Tana's in West Hollywood and eating carbs. Though a restaurant patron told People the duo looked like best friends, Paris's publicist was hesitant to consider it a reconciliation. He confirmed the fact that they had a meal, but claimed he didn't know if it was business or personal. Either way, it was reportedly the simple life that led to the unlikely reunion. According to show producer John Murray via People, a mutual dis Stain for a supposed survival via desert island simple life concept reportedly helped them make amends. That show is the first of its kind. It definitely invented a new type of celebrity. The duo's ongoing feud may have been one of the most iconic celebrity spats in Hollywood history, but it was short-lived. By 2007, the pair were flaunting their on-again friendship and a Harper's Bazaar spread. So how did they go from public snubs to pals? Paris extended the olive branch with an email. Nicole even shrugged off Paris's notoriously callous Nicole knows what she did statement, telling Harper's Bazaar, I can't get mad at her for talking about me. We were in a fight. That's hot. As for what Nicole actually did, she had no idea. Paris told the mag that it had little to do with her bestie's behavior and a whole lot to do with gossip, saying, "...we believed what other people were saying. People are really two-faced in this town, and they were trying to play us against each other." Nothing is sacred in the tabloids, not even holy matrimony. So it wasn't surprising when Nicole's upcoming nuptials to good Charlotte rocker Jill Madden in 2010 raised some speculation about the state of her mended friendship with Paris. According to Page Six, the hotel heiress was nixed from the guest list, but was it all fake news? As it turned out, Paris was invited to Nicole's wedding, but she wasn't a bridesmaid, which signaled that the pair might never be as close as they were during the Simple Life years. The heiress ended up not attending the nuptials at all because she had already committed to filming The World According to Paris, which was planned months prior. I'm constantly traveling 250 days a year. I'm on a plane in a different country. Fast forward to 2018, and a newly engaged Paris confirmed to Entertainment Tonight that Nicole would be invited to her wedding, too. But TBD on whether Richie will actually show. In 2014, we got a closer look at the complicated relationship between Paris and Nicole thanks to an episode of Watch What Happens Live. Apparently, things weren't what they used to be. Nicole told Andy Cohen of her former gal pal, I haven't spoken to her in a while, technically. But to her, that wasn't necessarily a sign of bad times. My view of a friendship is somebody that you don't necessarily have to talk to every day, is somebody that you can call when you need them and they're just gonna be there. The following year, Paris proved that you don't need to be a constant presence in someone's life to still be thick as thieves. The heiress posted an adorable throwback pic of the pair as children. The following year, she gushed about her lifelong friend in an interview and claimed she was the funniest person she's ever met. So what's next for the TV duo? It's been more than 10 years since TV viewers got a chance to watch Paris and Nicole wreak havoc on the lives of innocent blue-collar workers, so it's about time for a Simple Life reboot, right? As much as we'd love to watch Paris and Nicole pretend they can't do menial tasks, despite Nicole taking on the difficult challenge of raising children while running a fashion line and Paris owning an estimated $2.5 billion perfume empire, it looks like it won't happen anytime soon. In a 2018 interview with Entertainment Tonight, Paris admitted she'd been asked about rebooting her famed reality series but has too much in the pipeline to focus on the past. I had so much fun doing the show, but I don't know, I'm focusing on all my businesses and yeah. I really wouldn't have time to go over to a farm again and do that. But even a decade later, she sure doesn't hate the memories. It was so much fun and it's such an hilarious show, I still watch it. Yeah. So it's fun that everyone is enjoying it and it'll be amazing for it to come back. Paris and Nicole sparked Simple Life reunion rumors in April of 2018 when the pair were spotted sharing a laugh at the Daily Front Row Fashion Awards. According to People, both the former co-stars were presenting awards. After a photo of the two surfaced, fans reportedly went nuts online, with one even desperately tweeting at the stars, "'Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, please, 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 please do a reboot.'" Unfortunately, Paris still isn't down to head back to a farm quite yet. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Paris called the show timeless and iconic, but claimed both she and Nicole were way too busy to make it happen. Paris said, "...I'm getting tons of offers to do a docu-series show, basically on my business, my life, the wedding, just the next chapter of my life. I'm very busy, but we'll see what happens." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.